Thank you so much for joining me. This is Cynthia Gardner O'Neill with the Center of Loving Consciousness. Harmonize with love, for love transforms consciousness. You will listen to this information that I was guided to record and to provide this information for you with loving consciousness. You are what you are created from. This is love. You will always be love, yet you may not know or understand this love. This is part of first knowing yourself. Love is the creative source of all things. This is why I speak of love as Creator God, Allah, Krishna, or whatever your choice of words for this creative source from which you are birthed into being. I love the awareness of the connection between God and love. In my understanding, they are one and the same. In this world, there is a need to label and name all things in order to understand them from a perspective of the environment in which we grow. I have the understanding that love is the oneness that connects all things. Creation happens from energy of love because of love. It is called the adamantine particle. Scientists know that it is there, yet they cannot measure it. Therefore, they do not speak of its existence. The word measure comes from the Divine Mother, that which we measure is born into life. If it is measurable, it is so in the physical world. When this particle is observed, it does not react to the observer. This particle creates from within itself. The adamantine particle is love energy. When love is your state of being, and you allow love to be the source of your actions, all things are possible. This is why self-love is so important. Instead of reacting to the observer of your life, you create your life first from within yourself. When you feel kindness, compassion, and joy within, these are the children, so to speak, of love, and you birth them into life from love as love because you are love and created from love. Love thy neighbor as thyself. My understanding of this is you only love as much as you love yourself. You are what you create. This is your state of being. This state of being is an expression of who you are. It is expressed through your body and your experiences with life. The experiences you have are created from this state of being, not from what you are doing. An example of this, you can be doing a laboring job and your state of being can be happiness and joy while you are doing it. Or your state of being can be of resentment and anger. The laboring job is not what creates your state of being. You create your state of being. When you create a negative expression, it takes so much energy away from your being. You separate from being love. This is a new energy, a frequency that is not one with love. You must work at sustaining it because there is no energy to assist you to sustain it. Only you are the creator of this negative energy. There is no one to help you with this energy. You must stand alone. This is why so many feel lonely and separated from life, from love. This is your creation, you and you alone. This is why you fight so hard to keep the energy going because it is your creation. This is the birthing of ego or evil, the protection of your creation. I created this, so I'm going to protect this until the day I die. I created this, this is mine, do it my way, and so it goes. And because it takes so much energy to continue this negativity, you bring others into this energy to sustain your energy and to sustain this creation. This is why suffering is in our world. This is how you connect with others to sustain your creation, your negativity. Otherwise you would be love, and love only creates that which it is, love. When you protect your creation, you trigger fear. Protecting something means you are worried or fearful something bad will happen. You fear the death of your creation and you keep it alive inside of you. Fear is the trigger to dis-ease, fatty layer on human bodies, accidents, trauma, hate, and defensive driving, road rage. Ego says you must protect your creation even if it means hurting others. This is where selfishness comes in. Selfishness may exist in love, but it is not created from love or expressed from love. Therefore, if you love yourself and you are expressing selfishness, it is not coming from a loving place. 
all things exist in love because love is all things. Selfishness is a choice. Selfishness is expressed from the ego. The ego takes care of self and love takes care of all things. Ego says you must protect your creation even if it means hurting others. Love says join me in the oneness of life. The ego uses judgment to blame and hate. Love uses judgment to find truth. The ego uses protection and befriends fear. Love trusts and has faith that all things are perfect just as they are. I spoke of evil as ego or as ego as evil. Ego protects your negative creations and yes you are only human. When I hear people say this I think if you only knew what that meant. You are magnificent. You have infinite possibilities in your life and only you can choose what those are. You can choose from a place of negativity or love. And I love this story. A grandfather and his grandson were talking and the grandfather says to his grandson, there are two wolves fighting inside of each one of us. One is the wolf of anger and fear and the other is the wolf of compassion and love. The grandson asks, which one will win? And the grandfather replies, whichever one you feed. The children of negativity, blame, shame and guilt are created because of what you think others want from you, expect from you, and what you think you should have done instead. This perspective sees you as wrong, a sinner, and you criticize yourself. To sin means to make a mistake. If you did not make a mistake, you would not grow. Many of us have been punished for just being who we are. The mistake was that you did not do something the same as someone else, such as a parent, school teacher, or a religious belief. Talk about placing control over the people. The persecution of love has been to control. You have been told that you must find love outside of yourself. And so you keep searching for that perfect love when all along it is you. Have you heard the saying, the devil made me do it? Ego is all about giving up responsibility and not being accountable for its actions. Devil is someone who lived backwards or is no longer living, lived. What does this mean? If you are here on this earth feeling hatred, anger, resentment, and jealousy towards yourself and others, you are not living, you are killing yourself. These feelings are like taking poison and expecting the other person to die. These expressions or suppression separates you from love. Love is not what hurts or breaks your heart. Your free will and choice is what hurts and breaks your heart. This is where you need to take responsibility for your actions and ask yourself, is this a being I choose to be in this world? What state of being do you choose? Jesus, Yeshua, said, and I paraphrase, let the dead bury the dead. My understanding of this, you are with like-minded people. I am here with you now because I have made a choice to be with like-minded people. My mind is love. My being is love. Be love. The time is ripe for the rebirth of loving consciousness, which will not only transform the field of science, but also will facilitate the process of healing the fragmentations of human consciousness, which is the fundamental cause of division, violence, and suffering existing in this world. In science, the observer can have effect on the outcome of the observation. Love creates for, from within itself and is not affected by the observer. This is what scientists has found within the black holes of our many universes. From the emptiness comes all possibilities. This is the womb of life, a creative source that creates from love as love. Now that you know, and I am confident that you understand why love is so powerful and can heal spontaneously. Because of this understanding, you will easily choose your state of being to be love. Love creates from within itself. You are love and can create your own reality. This is truly what Jesus, Yeshua, was here to teach us when he was on this earth. My daily prayer, I pray love for all things. I pray I am love. 
I pray I am guided in love, all my words, action, and being. I pray all will real eyes see love is the oneness of our being. I encourage you, do not wait until a special day to love yourself or another. Do not wait for Valentine's to be the only time that you express that love. Love is a state of being that transforms your life into heaven on earth. Be love. In loving service, Cynthia Gardner O'Neill, the center of loving consciousness, the center of my heart, the center of your heart. With love, from Cynthia.